pick up from the basement doing the laundry. Okay? Yeah. Um, again, I knew that day that I belonged to Christ, and no matter what happened in my life, I knew I would belong to Christ. Um, one of the things I had prayed about, though, for several years, I've been on a single mom, um, is that the Lord would send someone into my life, a husband, somebody to be a father, and a good example, um, and to attend church and raise them in a Christian environment. You know, and I, and I prayed that, I prayed that for a couple of years, and, you know, I got, God's not on my time schedule, but He's never late. So, when I gave my heart fully committed to the Lord, it's like my life changed, and, um, I met David in 1993 that year, and um, it's funny, we were having an exercise at work. I didn't know him except, you know, I didn't even know his name except it was on his shirt before the Air Force. And um, first day I met him, we were at an exercise, and I saw him, and, you know, we talked briefly, and I was heading back to my office with a guy I work with, and I said, you know, I'm going to marry that man. And he said, he doesn't even know you're alive. And I, you know, and it's funny, the very next day, he asked, my boss, if I if I was single, and my boss came and told me, so I looked at my other coworker, and I thought, ha, <laughs> you know, so anyway, God blessed me, and yes. how soon were you married? Uh, we were married in like four months, and you know, and if I could make a list of the things I was looking for in a man, God exceeded that. With him. <laughs> <laughs>